survival of breast cancer patients who received new adjunct chemotherapy after surgical management. This was a retrospective study which included all breast cancer patients who received new adjunct chemotherapy and had sought the immunohistochemistry laboratory services of the Department of Pathology, Faculty of Medicine, University of Bruna Gaul from May 2006 to December 2012. Histopathological data were retrieved from the laboratory records available at the Department of Pathology. Based on these findings, the pathological TNM stage was designed according to the TNM staging. The patient's clinic files were perused to collect data on treatment and radiological investigations. Study subjects have been staged by the clinician before any form of treatment was started based on the physical and radiological examination. The clinical stage details were retrieved from the clinic files. Nottingham grade assessment of expression of ER, PR, and HER2 for all breast cancers were done by me to eliminate inter-observer variations. The difference between the pretreatment clinical findings and final pathological findings was defined in terms of degree of drawn staging by tumor size, lymph node stage, and overall TNM stage separately. The degree of tumor downstaging by tumor size. If the initial clinical tumor stage was T4 and it became pathological tumor stage T0 following neurogen chemotherapy, then a score of 4 was given as it has got downstage by 4 steps in the staging. The degree of lymph node zone Downstaging was also scored in the same way. The degree of downstaging by overall TNM stage, if the initial clinical TNM stage was 4 and it became pathological stage not following neurogenic chemotherapy, then a score of 7 was given as it has got downstaged by 7 steps in the TNM staging. After enrolling, the study subjects were followed up at six month intervals for recurrence or death. Study ended on 31st December 2013. Breast cancer specific survival was calculated from the date of diagnosis of breast cancer to the event death due to breast cancer. Recurrence free survival was calculated from the date of first new adjunct chemotherapy cycle received to the date of confirmation of the recurrence either local re or regional or distant. Either histopathological or radiological findings were used to confirm the recurrence. Five-year survival rates were estimated using kaplan meyer model and compared with log rank test. Multivariate analysis was performed with Cox proportional hazards model with backward stepwise factor retention method. SPSS statistical package was used. This is part of a breast cancer survival study for which ethical approval has been granted by the Ethical Review Committee of Faculty of Medicine, University of Rune Gaul. This study comprised 164 female breast cancer patients. The mean age was 52 years and the median follow-up time was 32 months. Out of the total, 29% had developed recurrences, 1% had contracted breast cancers, and 27% died due to breast cancer. The five-year breast cancer-specific survival of patients who received new adjunct chemotherapy was 63%, and recurrence fee survival was 59%. In this slide, the new adjunct chemotherapy regimes given to the study subjects are illustrated in detail. 18 patients had not received recommended complete neoadjuvant chemotherapy course. 80% of patients had tumor downstaging. 10% had tu 10 tumors were downstaged by one step or one degree. 40% by two degrees. 28% by three degrees and 2% by four degree tumor downstaging. 19% of patients had lymph node downstaging, 16% had one degree of downstaging, 2% had two, and only 1% had three degree of lymph node downstaging. Nodal downstaging was less prevalent compared to the tumor downstaging. 
Downstaging by overall TNM group was seen in 71.4% of the patients. 18% had one degree of downstaging, 16% had two, 17% had three, and 3% 3 had four, 16% had five, and 1% had six. Only 2% had pathological complete response. They did not have recurrences and survived beyond five years following neoadjuvant chemotherapy. A 13.5% of patients had complete axillary downstaging and only 2.5% had complete invasive tumor downstaging. N none had complete tumor downstaging with partial axillary tumor downstaging. None, sorry, the extent of uh, downstaging did not have any relationship with the two survival outcomes measured. That is, the degree of downstaging did not have any effect on the recurrence-free survival and breast cancer-specific survival. The univariate analysis revealed that Nottingham grade lymphovascular invasion, lymph node stage, pathological stage, clinical stage, expression of ER, PR, and HER2 significantly affected the breast cancer-specific survival of patients who had received new adjuvant chemotherapy. Multivariate, uh, all the aforesaid factors were used for multivariate analysis, and it was performed as two models, for one considering the pathological stage and the other considering the clinical stage. Model one, that is with the clinical stage, the presence of LVI and negative PR status were found to have effect on the breast cancer specific survival, while initial clinical stage did not have an effect. Model 2 with the pathological stage, the pathological stage following neoadjuvant chemotherapy was found to affect the breast cancer specific survival apart from lymphovascular invasion and PR status. Although nodal downstaging was less prevalent, when it occurred, it was more complete than tumor downstaging. Although some degree of downstaging has occurred in a substantial percentage of patients, the degree of downstaging by neoadjuvant chemotherapy did not have an association with the recurrence-free survival or breast cancer-specific survival. One probable reason is that the residual tumor carried the same poor prognostic features as the original tumor affecting the survival. The multivariate analysis of our study revealed that the final pathological stage independently affects the breast cancer specific survival, which is consistent with the other published data. In addition, lymphovascular invasion and expression of PR also independently affect the breast cancer specific survival. There are limitations. The effect of pathological complete response cannot be analyzed due to the small size of the sample of patients who achieved pathological complete response and there were 18 patients had not received complete course of new agent chemotherapy regime and it may have affected the outcome of this study. And we would like to conclude our presentation stating that the degree of downstaging by new agent chemotherapy does not influence the recurrence free survival or breast cancer specific survival. The presence of lymphovascular invasion, expressions of PR and the final pathological stage predict the breast cancer specific survival of patients who received new agent chemotherapy but not the clinical stage, initial clinical stage and these are the references we have used. And we would like to acknowledge UGC Research Grant and the University of Ruhuna and laboratory staff and the staff of the oncology clinics. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the presentation. Now, we have time for a few questions from the audience. Most of the patients had undergone mastectomy, and if they have not undergone mastectomy, they were excluded from the study because then we have no pathological tumor stage to compare the degree of downstage. And others were uh, again uh, treated with chemotherapy and radiotherapy. No, I think if you do breast conservation surgery also, you will do a wide local excision, so you should have the pathological uh, the tumor will be uh, resected as part yeah, of Yeah, but uh, this is a part of a breast cancer study. The whole study it includes 940, but out of the 940, there were only nine patients who undergone breast conservation therapy. In, in Gaul, there's no, in practicing, the majority of them are doing mastectomies. 
Okay, okay. So um, it was due to the fact that the most the patients and patients underwent, and underwent yes. uh, Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now, uh, so you uh, ha you had selected two groups for this uh, neoadjuvant therapy, obviously locally advanced carcinoma, and other one you had mentioned that large tumors in early breast carcinoma. How large? Because in breast and you should be very precise. How large? What do you mean by large? According to the guidelines, it says uh, when the t stage was 2A, uh, TNM stage 2A to Yeah, but these are early, early breast carcinoma. Early breast carcinoma. The, carcinoma. And the tumor size you are talking about. Tumor the tumor size, how large? large means T4. T4, T3 yes. tumors. Even stage 2A also uh, have received the neoadjuvant chemo. Oh, thanks. Thank you. In the absence of any more questions, uh, let me thank once again for the nice presentation. Let us move to the next presentation.